Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best concepts in Madden every single year, and it's no different in this year's game. We're going to be using the trips tight end formation to show this concept. Now, this is known as the shallow cross concept. It's my personal favorite way uh, to attack man coverage every single year, and it is very effective this year. We're going to show you a cool way to run it out of trips tight end. Now, if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, the play that we're going to be utilizing uh, to illustrate this concept, you can really do it out of anything, um, but we're going to use the play Drive Post, and it's because it has a really unique post route. And we'll throw a couple audibles in here so I can kind of show you uh, what we're looking at. So we'll show uh, curl flat, we'll show verticals. Um, you could do this out of anything, and that's what's really uh, versatile about the shallow cross concept. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to be utilizing a comeback route on the outside trips receiver. Now, these comeback routes are super underrated this year. They're actually really effective at being able to attack man and zone coverages. And then from there, what I like to do is we're going to utilize a drag route to our tight end. And then we're going to motion this outside trips receiver, but we're going to do a special motion. We're going to motion him to the left side, and that's still going to bring him across on the right, but it's going to kind of put him at the numbers, which will be a little bit better for the overall spacing on this play. From there, we're just going to block our running back for some extra protection. We know that in Madden 24, people are blitzing a lot. And this is kind of the shallow cross concept. The main, the main read is between the post and the drag route. The streak is on the field, and the purpose of it is to clear out any deep zones that uh, might uh, bite down on this post. Obviously, it gives us a shot play if they bust a coverage. And then the comeback route is kind of a check down on the left side of the, on the, left side of the field. So the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is, again, we're just looking for the shallow drag, and it's going to be able to beat man coverage just like that. Now, this, this concept can be done in a variety of different ways, um, but let me show you this post route real quick, and then we'll talk about um, how you can do this out of, out of other plays as well. So here's the post route to the inside trips receiver. It's a special post route. It's a little sharper and uh, will get you really consistent separation against man coverage, as you can see right there. So both routes beat man coverage. So what that means for the opponent is they're going to have to choose. Now, one of the things that people like to do is they love to put uh, hard flats on the field to try to take away the drag routes. And th that's a really good adjustment. Um, it's a really good adjustment to try to take these away. By using this comeback route, though, on the left side, it gives us another option against main coverage. And notice that that hard flat drag is also getting pulled to the sideline because we have an outside receiving threat over there. So we have the ability to pull zones to the outside. The other thing that this is going to allow us to do is by using a comeback route, um, and it's really any vertical route, any route that can go, and you can honestly, you could use a curl route if you want to this year. Curl routes are pretty good. Um, but by using, utilizing this comeback route, when he turns, you're just going to pass lead down. And as you can see, it's a nice little read against man to man. So we have man, we have man and zone uh, beaters on this. Another way that you could kind of honestly do the same thing is through utilizing this play PA slot corner. And essentially, we could do the same basic thing. Except now the post is coming from a different player and we're using a corner route where we would use that comeback route. So you see here we get kind of a little natural pick and rub and we're still kind of in a, in a, in a very similar uh, concept. So while this concept is great for beating uh, man coverage, what makes it really special is also what it can do for you against zone. So in a situation where you're playing somebody and they're running zone coverage, you're going to have a high low in the middle of the field. And you're also going to have routes that are going to get open on the sideline um, against man and zone. So if they're shading underneath, you see here, I can throw this post route over the top just like that. So what that's going to do is it's going to cause the user to have to basically user the top post route. Well, when the user has to has to take the post route, it's going to make a little cleaner of a read for your for your quarterback. Because what's going to happen is, number one, you can take this drag early, but also if you wait on this comeback route, you see it's going to get in a nice soft spot against the zone. Now, let's say, for example, they drift back and they try to go guard the comeback by utilizing a curl flat. Then what you're going to be able to do on this concept is the drag route is now going to almost work as a flat route 
you're going to see it's going to come across the field about right there. It gets open on the sideline, and we can turn it upfield for a couple of yards, as you can see. So it gives you a lot of versatility in your ability to be able to attack zone coverage, and you can run it from different receivers on the field. Uh, let me show you another way that we could kind of do it. So one of the best ways to counter this drive post, post route, specifically on the sideline, um, and also to counter the to counter this outside comeback route is to utilize a cover two coverage. One of the best strategies that people can use to counter this. So you'll see here that these cloud flat zones are going to do a really good job. Now, obviously, I have the drag, but notice that that post route is getting played over the middle, and it's also going to get played on the sideline um, if it didn't get played over the middle. Okay. So that's where I like to talk you guys through um, another way that you can run this concept. And that's where I really like to utilize something like a play like curl flat, um, a play like uh, verticals. E either of these plays is really effective. So with verticals, what we can do is notice that we have this unique streak route to this receiver. So what we can do with this, and we have this deeper crossing route, we're going to now uh, streak the tight end, and then we're going to put a motion drag as our shallow route. So you see, this is what this is going to look like. Against a cover two coverage, what oftentimes is going to happen is this deep crossing route is going to absolutely destroy the cover two coverage over the top. So that's how you can kind of layer your routes and use different routes for different purposes. You can honestly even utilize a slant um, as well, which slant routes will get about 15 yard depth. So there's so much you can do with the shallow cross uh, concept. You can utilize a crosser as well. Um, so I'll show you that real quick. So this is PA counter go. And we're going to utilize a, a crossing route as opposed to a post route, which will get a little bit more depth against zone, but still gives you a really good chance to be able to beat man coverage across the middle of the field. This is the shallow cross concept. I think it's one of the best concepts in Madden. You can apply it to any formation. But today we showed it to you at a trip side in. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook or really any of my ebooks, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to every ebook, every update, everything. And we've been dropping a ton of updates for our Patreon this week uh, with kind of updating some of our ebooks for you guys and just helping you stay on top of the best way possible to play Madden 24. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and go click the link down below.